Chichen Itza holds many secrets, though we know today it was built from advanced knowledge in the areas of astronomy, math, and intricate art. The magnificent El Castillo, also known as the Temple of Kukulkan, is a famous example of sophisticated Mayan creation. Chichen Itza's landmark steppe pyramid was constructed during the high period of Itza culture on Mexico's northern Yucatan Peninsula. During this medieval period, El Castillo rose over the surrounding landscape after several periods of detailed construction. El Castillo was created in honor of Kukulkan, the Mayan deity of rain rain, water, and wind. This powerful step pyramid was constructed from thousands of limestone blocks, originally colored with brilliant hues. Millions of visitors over centuries have stood in awe while gazing on El Castillo, though many of them may not realize this medieval temple is more than a fantastic structure. The creators of El Castillo made this monument to reveal information which they thought would guide humans to this very day. So what secrets are El Castillo meant to tell us? Hello everyone, my name is Craig, host of Medieval to Modern. We feature fascinating information from civilization's medieval ages in an interesting yet compact manner. After presenting another captivating episode of history, we will reveal the Medieval to Modern Top 8 of intriguing facts about El Castillo in Chichen Itza. Thank you for joining us today. In Mayan culture, Kukulkan is a feathered serpent god. The Temple of Kukulkan, built in its honor, is a sacred structure. The Spanish later named it El Castillo, or the castle in English. El Castillo is located in the ancient Mayan city of Chichen Itza, whose name means at the mouth of the well of the Itza. This site was founded between 415 AD to 455 AD and grew until the 14th century. Chichen Itza was a pre-Columbian city influenced by diverse cultures. As a result, Chichen Itza adopted the various practices and customs during its centuries of existence. Chichen Itza is a fascinating city from the incredible past of Mesoamerican history. Similar to other large settlements in Mayan culture, it operated as an autonomous city-state. Over 50,000 residents lived here at its height of sophisticated culture and political power in 900 AD. At the same time, Europe was living through the Middle Ages. Now, let us learn more about the meaning of El Castillo, which today is located at the center of Chichen Itza's archaeological site. To do so, we must look at the creative design of this unique structure. It is the Temple of Kukulkan's composition, which also reveals the foundation for its hidden messages. El Castillo is over 30 meters high in total, or approximately 98 feet tall. It consists of a base which measures 55.3 meters across and 24 meters in height. The temple, which rests on top, is 6 meters tall. The people of Chichen Itza used El Castillo as a giant Mayan calendar. For instance, the step pyramid was shaped with a base of nine levels. Each of its four sides are bisected by a staircase which rises at 45 degrees to the horizontal and leads to the top of the structure. With this design, each side represents the 18 months of the Mayan solar calendar. Each stairway has 91 steep steps, and when combined with the top temple step to the platform, is 365 steps in total. This, of course, is the number of days in a year and also corresponds to the Mayan solar calendar called Hob. Since the Hob is 365 days, there is a very slight misalignment since it actually takes 365.24 219 days in a solar year for Earth to orbit the Sun. That is why in our modern calendar we compensate with the leap year. The extra day of February the 29th occurs every four years. An average of 91 days separates the four phases of the yearly solar cycle, which are spring equinox, summer solstice, autumn equinox, and winter solstice. The detailed astronomy contained in the design of El Castillo continues when one notes the western plane of the temple, which faces the zenith passage sunset. This is the sun's path from sunrise through its zenith to sunset. This passage happens twice a year in tropical latitudes, between 23.5 degrees north of the equator and 23.5 degrees south of the equator only. Mayan culture seen the sky above as an accurate personification of their gods, so they placed a high value upon being connected to the stars. Therefore, Mayans use astronomy to help predict earthly events which they believed were under the control of these gods. Various researchers suggest the Temple of Kukulkan would have been used by these people as a precise calendar to guide their cultural activities like harvesting, planting, and performing ceremonies. Mayan structures are said to have been built to orientate with celestial events, being a culture of keen astronomers. With this vital fact in mind, one can see how the Mayan messaging system at El Castillo comes together. The Pleiades star cluster plays an important role in understanding how the Mayans created this process. The Pleiades is one of the nearest and most recognizable star clusters in the night sky to our naked eyes. Dominated by what appears to be hot blue luminous stars, they were formed in the last 100 million years and are a group of more than 800 stars. They appear in the constellation Taurus and are about 444 light years from Earth. Mayans believe they came from the Pleiades.
Pleiades, which they referred to as Zabek. This explains why the tracking of Pleiades was vital to their culture. In addition to the Hob, Mayans also used a ritual calendar with a cycle of 260 days called the Zolkin. On the same date in both calendars, they will have formed a longer cycle of 18,980 days, or a date which repeats every 52 years in the Hob. This is called the calendar round completion date. At El Castillo, this exact alignment of the sun with the Pleiades at the zenith overhead only happens for an interval of 72 to 144 years every 26,000 years. This 26,000 year period is the time it takes our planet to make one complete revolution. The process to complete this revolution is called the precession of the equinoxes. When one looks well beyond conventional theory, John Major Jenkins proposed the building of the Temple of Kukulkin was a gigantic clock for alert humankind. Mr. Jenkins said the serpent god Kukulkin was a symbol of a sun Pleiades zenith conjunction and the temple is a giant reminder to the importance of this conjunction over Chichen Itza. He also believed the popular moving snake seen by millions of tourists is a constant reminder of this important event. This major alignment occurs over El Castillo between 1976 and 2048 which is within our current time period. We know the earth's orbital position around the sun changes shifting the summer solstice each year by approximately 20 minutes. Therefore, it would take 72 years for the equinox to change by a complete day. This would explain John Major Jenkins giving a 72 year time frame for the possible alert in his theory. Looking from a theoretical view, this could possibly explain why Chichen Itza and El Castillo are so important. Being keen astronomers, if the Mayans purpose-built El Castillo because of an upcoming significant astrological event, could it have something to do with the precession of the equinoxes? Looking at the Mayan obsession with equinoxes while building the Temple of Kukulkin, it is widely recognized that it functions like a giant astronomical monument. Could its greatness have been intentional so we could not overlook astronomical messages they were trying to deliver? Were all the precise calculations used in the construction of El Castillo, their way of proving a major event would occur in this time period of 1976 to 2048. One possible explanation of why they are messaging us could be the beginning of a major climate shift or astronomical disruption during the Earth's precessional orbit. The Lankovitch theory proposes cycles playing a key role in the Earth's short-term weather and also long-term climate. To briefly summarize, he hypothesized these collective effects of changes in the Earth's position relative to the Sun are indeed a contribution to Earth's long-term climate. In addition, they are also responsible for beginnings and endings of glaciation periods like the Ice Ages. In effect, the amount of energy Earth absorbs from the Sun changes our climate climate patterns. He did not state the precessional movements change constellations, but the direction in space where our planet's rotation axis points, which means the evening sky will appear to turn around a different point among the stars. Could one of the key warnings from the Mayans involve a major upcoming climate change disruption to occur by 2048, or is there a significant upcoming astronomical change to take place by 2048, which they learn through their study of the stars? If so, this may be the most significant from a series of discoveries this magnificent sight regularly provides to humankind. During the equinoxes, one can see a snake-like shadow on the northwest balustrade. It moves downwards in March and September until it appears to join the serpent's head at the base of the temple staircase. This movement is said to represent Kukulkan's descent from the sky above into the underworld. As mentioned previously, this is also the popular tourist attraction millions have witnessed. El Castillo's marvels include sound as well as sight. Clapping at the foot of the northern staircase steps produces a sound similar to the Kutzel bird chirping. Toltec and Aztec traditions brought the importance of this bird to Chichen Itza. To the Mayan people, the Kutzel bird is a representative of the gods, and its tail feathers were used in religious rituals. Chichen Itza lasted longer than most other Mayan city-states. Modern theories suggest it succumbed to wars, lengthy droughts, and poor soil exhaustion. However, this has not been conclusively proven. It is assumed Chichen Itza was abandoned sometime in the 14th century after an unknown occurrence at this site. During August 2015, Mexican scientist Rene Chavez Segura from the Institute of Geophysics at UNAM made an announcement which showed El Castillo still has secrets to share with the world. Using an electrical resistivity survey, his team of researchers discovered a large hidden cenote beneath El Castillo, measuring up to 20 meters or 65 feet deep. This cenote has not been seen by archaeologists, as it was naturally covered by limestone rock above. It is aligned at the intersection of four other cenotes in the area. There was a secret tunnel believed to lead under El Castillo, though it appears to have been sealed off by the Mayans centuries before. In late 2016, Mexican scientists and archaeologists used a non-invasive scanning technique known as tridimensional electric resistivity tomography 
to discover a 10 meters or 33 foot tall third pyramid inside El Castillo. The outer structure is believed to date from 1050 AD to 1300 AD. The middle construction is estimated to be from around 800 AD to 1000 AD. Now, the recently discovered innermost pyramid is believed to date between 500 AD to 800 AD. Today, El Castillo sits proudly at the center of the Chichen Itza archaeological site. Which brings us to that time at which we will share the medieval to modern top 8 of intriguing facts about El Castillo in Chichen Itza. As our viewers know, we believe knowledge is ageless as well as enjoyable. Now, we shall present them all for your learning pleasure. Number 1. Kukulkin is one of the Mayan creator gods. This god is usually depicted as part snake and part bird. Number 2. The 5 square kilometer Chichen Itza complex was designated an UNESCO World Heritage Site in the year 1988. Number 3. For years, more adventurous tourists would climb El Castillo. Management at the historic site closed that option in 2006 when a woman fell to her death after climbing the temple. Number Number 4. Today, Chichen Itza attracts well over 2 million visitors annually. Number 5. The Mayan people used a script of logograms and syllabic glyphs, also present at El Castillo. This script is not related to Egyptian glyphs, which earlier European explorers had thought were similar in appearance. Number 6. The Mayan calendar was not a Mayan invention. In fact, it improved upon a system used by various pre-Columbian cultures in Central America before the Mayans. The system has been in use since the 5th century BCE. Number 7. El Castillo was named one of the new wonders of the world in 2007. Number 8. When American John L. Stevens and Englishman Frederick Catherwood explored the ancient Mayan site in 1841, Chichen Itza became known to the outside world. They documented the Mayan ruins in a book called Incidents of Travel in Central America, Chiapas, and Yucatan, which became a bestseller. Thank you for supporting us at Medieval to Modern. Please be sure to watch our next weekly episode or one shown at the end of this video. Also be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and spread the word about this channel so we can create more exciting content. I wish you good tidings as we remember that sharing knowledge has been a noble deed throughout the ages.